I'm Buzz Williams. I'm here with Linda Kahn uh, about an incident that happened at Costco on May 14th. In the interest of full disclosure, I have to say that I've known Linda for 40 plus years. She was a dispatcher at the Long Beach Police Department when I was a patrol officer and a sergeant there. Uh, so to start things out, Linda, there are two sides to every story. The Daily Courier printed one side of the story, but they didn't uh, uh, print your side of the story. So tell us what happened on that date and time. Well, it was late. I went into Costco. I had been in a meeting. I needed to pick something up. I had ordered a cake for a meeting the next day. Thought I could get in there before they closed, pick up that cake. So I did. And uh, the store was basically empty, but the bakery was closed. I couldn't get the cake. So I was heading on my way out. And I saw these three women in the clothing section staring at me. That's what caught my eye. And I thought, I wonder if I know them. You know, I just thought these things. And, and so as I moved closer, uh, I said, are you speaking to me? And I didn't gesture. I just said, are you speaking to me? And... Um, I don't know what happened at that point, but the woman with glasses said, I'm smarter than you. I speak two languages. And I thought, well, that's strange. I said, well, I speak two languages too. She said, yeah, what do you speak? And I said, Spanish. And they laughed. And I said, but if you're speaking to me, you're going to have to speak English or go back to your country, is how I ended it. Well, apparently that's all they recorded on that whole interaction. But it bothered me because these girls were half my age or younger. And I'm there was old. three of them. Yeah, there were three of them. And I, I thought, this is not good. I don't know what's going on here. So I had made a turn and uh, was heading towards the cash registers. Then I thought, I'm not shopping anymore. I'm getting out of here. I tried to disarm it. But they were taunting me and trying to provoke me by yelling after me. You know. What, what words did they use? Uh, <laughs> white girl and Karen. They called Karen. you a white girl and Karen? Okay. Yeah, Karen is that derogatory yeah. remark that I guess it was a television program. But anyway, I went to the, re the manned registers to check out. I thought, I'm getting out of here. I don't like this at all. And so I uh, checked out. And in that short amount of time, you know, I, I started for the door and right at the first table of the food court area there where you get pizza, there they were again. And the woman with glasses was standing up and it looked like they were going to confront me again. And I, I didn't quite know what to do. I thought I had disarmed it by walking away, but they did confront me again, and she said something I didn't hear. And, um, and I said, what? And she said, I'm going to put your racist face all over the internet. And I thought, what? And so I said, I hope you do. And I had stepped in to hear what she was saying, because I am. I'm very hard of hearing. Do you wear hearing aids? I do, but I had taken them out. They're very uncomfortable. I had taken them out when I was in the car and left them on the console of my yeah. car. I wasn't planning to yeah. talk to anybody. <laughs> anyway, that's... So then I started, I just continued, and... When I said, I hope you do, I unfortunately added a Spanish word that most people around here don't know. 
but in my broken Spanish, I said it wrong. And I, I corrected it right away from the masculine form to the feminine form and said it again, turned around. But by then they were taunting me again, calling me Karen again and either whitey or white girl. But I thought, I next have to go out into that dark parking lot and Costco's closed. There's nobody out there. And I was afraid. So I did get out of the store and I went left. Okay, our, they're accusing you of racism. <laughs> you grew up in Southern California. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sure you have friends whose last names are Gonzalez, Rodriguez, Ramirez, uh, Garcia. Sotelo, so are you in any way yeah. or a racist? I have never been accused of such a thing. Whether it was a misunderstanding, I don't know. I, I've never, I taught for 25 years in the inner city. I, my kids, many years, I was the only white person in the room. I, I had all black, white, Hispanic kids. Uh, I Asian. mean, not white, black and, and Asian, uh, Southeast Asian, Vietnamese, Cambodian, and, and Hispanic. It was Southern California. So, so if you were a racist, why wouldn't you have gone and taught at some I suburban school? Thank you. I have never had a complaint. I never even had any complaints on the police yeah. department. In retrospect, um, since you're up for re-election, doesn't the timing of this seem to you that it might have been a setup? I, I don't know. I have my suspicions because the school district immediately, without knowing my side of the story, three board members and the superintendent came out with these statements without knowing my side. Before they ever talked to you, they came out with these statements that were printed in the paper, and they had your picture on the front page above the fold, which is um, really yellow journalism, if you ask me. Um, now, since that happened, since this well-publicized uh, locally event happened, this incident, um, and the school board president, Stan Goligowski, and the um, uh, superintendent, Clark Tenney, and board member, Andy Freyer, made these statements. Uh, has there been any reaction? Have you received any uh, reaction or seen anything on social media about this? Uh Yes, I'm being cyberbullied now by this woman and her, I guess, associates or members of whatever club she belonged to. She has even had a call for action uh, to show up at the next board meeting. And I had made an agreement with Mr. Tenney uh, to try and let this all calm down and and to wait until school was over, because it's for the kids, the last right. week of school. I was in California for my niece's wedding, and I told him immediately I would be back on the 21st, and um, or the 22nd, I can't recall now, but he made an appointment to meet me and get my side of the story then. But After we, he had made comments in the paper. It, it had today. already been yeah. out there. And they've allowed it. They finally took it down after school was out. But it was up on the school district Facebook what? page, too. For and how long? I don't know. I just discovered it was taken down. I guess they cleaned up that page from because Do you think it was year. on for as long as a week? No. It hasn't been that long. Oh, okay. But school was just out on the 24th. Yeah. And I didn't, I agreed, well, I didn't agree, but I decided not to go to any of the 
end of the year events. I've been doing things all year long to, to try and connect with the different schools, their events, and I didn't get to go to any of those. <laughs> um, it seems like you and uh, Stan Goligowski, the school board president, didn't, wasn't there a conflict between, didn't you want to run for that position or were you given an opportunity to? Well, I had asked to uh, have that adjusted because in the January meeting, you, you um, decide as a board who's going to be that year's board president. Ooh. And they wouldn't let me nominate myself from the floor. Yeah. He stopped that, and they voted him in without any other nominations allowed. Okay. It was curious. So, so that might explain some of his uh, antipathy towards you. He doesn't seem to do much on the school board, but that's his choice. He shows up at certain now, sporting events. Wasn't but, he instrumental in passing the social studies curriculum that several parents or hundreds of parents don't want because they consider it uh, parts CRT and, and uh, DEI and all that. It's uh, I voted left wing. no, but he voted yes for it. Um, and yes, it is very controversial. I'm hoping that we can supplement that curriculum if possible, but I, I haven't been able to. I, I've reached out to the board mm -hmm. to try and build bridges and try and, and, and ask for, you know, more sides of a story sure. and they won't allow it. And sure. so I'm, I'm so, yeah, stymied. So it, so it really seems like, uh, uh, because of your conflicts at the board with um, Stan Goligowski and Clark Tinney and Andy Freyer. Up for re-election. It's a political move, I feel. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. It's, um, I, that's what it looks like to me. In fact, several people I've talked to about the, the article in the paper, uh, uh, several people, just uh, friends of mine, uh, and acquaintances, people I know from the Lions Club, they said, oh, boy, that sure looks like a setup. And it, you know, <laughs> well, considering the timing and the location, the, you know, before your election, they're trying to get you uh, not to be elected. And they've, they uh, have talked about a recall. Wasn't that on the, on the... Well, that's part of the cyber bullying going on. Uh, I had hoped that our superintendent would have um, uh, maybe set up a meeting between this woman and yeah. I to see if there's some misunderstanding. Sure. You know, I taught anti-bullying in school, and I'll tell you, <laughs> we told kids just walk away. Yeah. We told them that all the time, just walk away from a bully. Well, I'll tell you now, I know that doesn't work. That I have tried doing, and I have been targeted by this woman and her friends and people from all over. You, you told me before about, uh, was it a phone call or a phone message somebody left? Uh, they, they wanted you to commit suicide? It's a message I got. Um, someone said, do us all a favor and do yourself in. Okay. I can see how kids are subjected I, to that. Yeah. Uh, you know, of course, the viewers can make their own opinion. True. But if they read that article, uh, once they have the other side of the story, not just this gal's edited video that she took, because it just has what you said. It doesn't have what she, any of the stuff she said before that. No. Um, this looks like a. Uh, they're just trying to get you uh, to lose the election. And that's what they're trying to do. I would like to give these people the benefit of the doubt, whomever they are, the members she has called to come to the, to the, the June 25th meeting, but it's, well, 
you're you're more diplomatic than I, <laughs> than I am because I I think they're they're out to get you and and nothing uh, as far as I could see nothing you could say or do would do that. I just it, worry that people are trying to attack me, calling me a racist. Yeah. I've never been racist no. in my life. Well, it's been the, the left's, uh, uh, their policy all the time. When, when they can't win an argument, they make an accusation of racism. Anyhow, I think you've done a good job of defending yourself. Thank you. And when people watch this, I think they'll agree with that. Those people who are viewing this video, uh, I want to thank them for watching it, and you can make your own decision if this was a setup, if, if they're uh, attacking Linda unjustifiably. Uh, you can make that decision by watching this video. <laughs>